your resistance bands for me. That's it. And I'm just going to stand on the floor when you're ready. Uh, so feet hip distance apart. And then just making sure um, with your band, just going to fold it in half just the once. That's it. And I'm just going to think about how you're standing. So just making sure all your toes are on the floor. So from that big toe to your little toe. So you've got that um, weight easily distributed on both sides of your feet. And you've got weight also in the front and the back of the feet. And then let those knees soften, let the thighs soften. And then just making sure you're in your neutral spine, neutral pelvis. So just making sure we're not overly tucking underneath and then we're not overly sticking your bum out behind. So just make sure you're in that neutral position. Lifting up through your abdominals, so just draw the belly button in and then just soften round your shoulders for me. That's it, and then we'll get going. So, just going to draw the belly button in and just going to start with some arm raises. So, just going to breathe in and just lift the band straight above the head and then breathe out and straight back down. That's it, and then again. So, you're going to breathe in, lift and then breathe out lower. That's it, so up and down. That's it. So just mobilizing through your shoulders. That's it. And just keeping the rib cage under control. So feel the ribs pull down towards your hips as you take your arms above the head. Good. And then two more. So up and down. And then last time. And bring your arms down to rest. That's it. Okay, now this time we're going to add a heel raise. We're going to work on your balance now a bit. So again, we're going to take your arms up above the head like you just did. Now this time you're going to rise, coming all the way up to the balls of your feet. Then you're going to lower the heels back down and then bring your arms back down in front. So just do that again. So arms above the head, lift the heels up, lower the heels down and then bring the arms down. So you've got up and rise. And lower and lower. And again, so up and up and lower and lower. Good. And then two more. And last time. Good. And rest your arms down in front. Good. Okay, now from here, what we're going to do, just going to take your arms up above the head again. So just going to reach the arms above the head. Now you're going to go into your side bend. So just going to start to get your spine moving. So keeping your palms forward, just going to breathe in, draw the belly button in, and just going to go up and over into a side bend, breathing in, and then breathe out, return back to centre. Then again on the other side. That's it. So remember to move your breath. So you want to breathe in to prepare, breathing out as you go up and over, just making sure the weight hasn't go, gone all the way over to that one foot. And then we'll do this one more time in each direction. Good. And then come back to centre and then just bring your arms forward and down to rest for me. That's it. Okay, now from here, we're going to unfold your band now, so it's nice and long. Uh, what we're going to do is, I'm just going to do this sideways on, best way to see. Um, so just going to, with your band, um, now if, depending on how long your band is, how much, how um, stretchy it is, um, if we can, just going to place your right foot in the middle of your band, and you've got the uh, holding on either end. And then just going to step your left leg back. So you're going to bend your front leg, uh, just watching the knee doesn't go over the ankle. Toned it up. Sorry. Okay. So you've got toes pointing forward. Yeah. And then just going to have fit. So you're going to rotate your hands so your palms are facing forward. And then from here, we're just going to do some bicep curls. So we're going to draw the belly button in. And then just going to bend at the elbow and then just bring the hands up towards your shoulders. So you've got that bicep curl. And then you're going to unfold the arms as you bring them back down by your side. Okay, so you're also at the same time getting that calf stretch. So you're just going to bend and straighten. That's it. So working through those biceps. Good. And again, so you're going to bend 
and straighten. Keeping that front leg bent. And looking straight ahead, keep those abdominals engaged. And then two more. And last time. Good. And then we're going to step out of that uh, band for me. Okay. So now this time we're going to do the left side. So again, um, making sure the left foot comes into the middle of your band. And you're going to bend that front knee. And you're going to take that right leg back behind. Just making sure it's not directly behind that front leg. So make sure it's like hip width apart, uh, but behind you. And again, you want fists, palms facing forward, and look straight ahead, draw the tummy in, and then do a bicep curl, and then straighten. And then again, bicep curl, and then straighten. And bend, and straighten. Okay, looking straight ahead, draw the abdominals in, and bend, and straighten. And then two more. And then last time. Good, and then step out of your band when you're ready. Good, well done. Okay, so you're working through the other body a little bit there. Um, so you just going to put your band to one side now. And what we're going to work on over the next couple of weeks is lunges, because lunges are really good um, for strengthening, but also mobility and for balance as well. Um, so we're just going to start by placing your hands on your hips, just so your hands are out of the way. And again, kind of getting into that same position you were just in. So you're going to take your right leg forward, Take your left leg back. So this time the back heel comes away from the floor. Okay. Then from here, so you want quite a big gap in between the front leg and the back leg. Draw the tummy in, and all we want to do is we want to bend both your knees and we want to take your weight down in between the legs. So we're not aiming to take your knee to the floor, just um, coming down to the mat. And then you're going to straighten and then come back up and bring your back leg back in. So I'll just do that again um, on the other side. So just bending, take it back and then come forward. And then again, step back, bend and then come forward. So in particular, just want to make sure that front knee is not going over your ankle. So we're not putting all your weight. Oops, sorry, I'm going to start over then. I don't want all your weight to go forward into that front leg. So just keep it in line. So straight line from your knee to your ankle and then come forward. Take a step back and then forward. And step back and forward. You might find one side is a little bit better than the other. You might find one side is a little bit easier to balance on than the other. Good. And again, keep your eye line focused, so keep looking straight ahead. And then once more on each side. And come back to where you were. Okay, now this time we do the same thing again. We're going to come into a static lunge, so we're not going to, we're going to stay in it this time. So again, we're going to step your right leg back behind you. And again, you're going to bend both your knees slightly. Now this time, we're going to stay in this position and we're going to see if you can lower your knee just that little bit further towards the mat. So again, if you can bring your knee all the way to the floor, bring it to the floor, but don't worry if you can't. I don't have to, just go as far as you can and then come back up again. And then repeat. So you're going to lower and lift. And lower. Ooh and lift. Good, so again, we need balance here. So use those abdominals. And again, use your eyes to focus in front of you, and that will help with your balance. Good, and then bend, and up. So you never fully straighten the legs. Two more if we can. 
And last time. Good. And then step that back leg back in. A bit, yeah, give those legs a little bit of a shake. Okay, so now I'll do the other side and see how that feels. So again, keeping your hands on your hips, just so your hands are out of the way. Uh, step your left leg back this time. And again, just watch that front knee, just watch the weight isn't going all the way forward. So think down in between your legs, in the middle of your legs. Um, so again, just going to bend that knee just a little bit further towards the floor. And then come back up again. And then repeat. So you're going to lower and lift. So again, both legs are never going to fully straighten. They're always going to be slightly bent. Lower and lift. You might find it feels different on this side. So you might not feel as wobbly on this side. Then again, looking straight ahead, draw the abdominals in. And then two more. And last one. Good. And then step that back leg back in. And again, just give those legs a little bit of a shake. Well done. Okay, so now standing on your mats if you're not already. And we're going to go into your roll downs now. So feet hip distance apart. And I'm just going to take both the arms straight above the head again like we did before. Draw the belly button in. And I'm just going to breathe in here at the top. And then as you breathe out, it's going to nod your chin towards the chest as you start to roll down through your spine, one vertebrae at a time. So just soften around your knees, uh, let the head drop so it's nice and heavy. Breathe in at the bottom. And then breathing out, draw the belly button in. As you roll back up, re-stack your spine, taking the arms back above the head. And then repeat again. So again, you're gonna nod your chin towards the chest rolling down so we're just doing this to mobilize your spine so just get some movement into the back which again might be feeling a bit stiff this evening it depends on what we've been doing during the day good and rolling up and again rolling down good now, each time we do one, we're just gradually loosening bit by bit. We're going to do that two more times. And then on your last one, we're going to stay down at the bottom. Good, so let the head hang, let the arms hang heavy. Now from here, we're going to keep the feet where they are, and we're just going to take your hands um, away from the feet. So just, uh, sorry, keep the feet where they are and you're going to walk your hands here yeah, away from the feet. So you're going to walk your hands away, coming into that downward dog position, and then just going to bend your knees and come down to the floor and come down to all fours. So put your hands underneath your shoulders, knees hip distance apart, and find your neutral spine, neutral pelvis. So again, lengthen your tailbone, draw the abdominals in, head in line with your spine. Now from here, we're gonna tuck your toes under and then we're gonna sit your tailbone back towards the heels and then just stretch your arms away from the body as far as they will go. That's it. And by tucking your toes under, you get that nice little stretch through your feet. And then from here, we're just gonna come into a half plank position. So we're gonna breathe in to prepare. And then as you breathe out, we're gonna come forward into a half plank. So your um, shoulders are going to come ever so slightly over the wrists. Draw the belly button in and push away from the floor. So just remember, uh, we don't want to collapse here in your shoulders or in your um, upper body and your hips. So you really want to push away from the mat and then sit your tailbone back towards the heels. And then again, coming forward into that half plank position. And then sit back again. Then you're just going to keep going back and forth. And then sit back. Okay. And again, it's just to help mobilize through your, um, through your hip joints and your knee joints, and also your shoulders and also the wrists. Good. And then we'll do this one last time. 
And then, if we can, we're now going to take this into a full plank position if possible. Now, you can stay with what we've just been doing, or you can come into that half plank position that you just did. Now, without um, pushing your uh, hips up to the ceiling, you're going to lift both the knees off the floor. So your hips are staying exactly where they are. Then you're going to lower the knees back down and again, sit back into the shell stretch. And then repeating again. So into that half plank position, lift the knees up, draw the belly button in, lower the knees down, sit back into your shell stretch. And then again, so you're coming forward and lift and lower and then sit back and then repeat. That's it. Good, again, try not to collapse in those shoulders and your body. So again, push it down and away from the floor. Good, we'll do that twice more through if we can. And then hopefully the whole body is just starting to feel that a little bit warmer and then just relax the toes and now sit all the way back into that shell stretch and then just release the head and neck down to the mat and just take five breaths here for me. So just breathing in through the nose and then out through the mouth. So it's a really use this uh, breather to really focus on your breath. Well done. And then once you've done about five breaths, just roll yourself up to sitting. Good. Okay, now we're going to lie on your back now for me. So when you're ready, come and lie down on your mat. And if you need a cushion for the back of the head, uh, just pop your cushion on the back of the head. And then um, take your band and just have it next to you. So well, nearby your mat so you can grab it uh, when we need it. Okay. So when we're ready, just want to, again, just focus on your alignment of your body. Um, so just making sure your heels are underneath your knee creases and make sure your feet and knees are hip distance apart. Find that neutral spine, neutral pelvis. So again, just making sure the weight is in the back of your pelvis and there's no weight going into that lumbar spine, that lower back. So not forcing any weight down into the, into the floor, into the lower, okay? And then all we're going to do from here, uh, just to start with, just going to do um, some arm raises again, like you did at the beginning. Um, so just going to breathe in, draw the belly button in, and just going to lift both the arms up towards the ceiling, and then back towards the head without moving your rib cage. And then bring your arms forward, back down by your side. So you're going to reach the arms back, and then come forward. So we call this rib. Uh, rib cage closure. So the aim is to try and keep those ribs closed as you take your arms back towards the head, just because it's much better for your alignment of your spine, stops your mid back uh, from moving. So you're just going to breathe in, do your back, breathe out, come forward. Breathing in and out. Just going to do that two more times. Good, last one. Well done, and bring your arms down to rest by your side. Good, so now I'm gonna take this into a curl up now. Um, so if you want to, if you need to, for any lower back issues, uh, just keep both your feet down on your mat. Um, if, if your back feels absolutely fine, then just bring both your legs into a double knee fold. Or you can also do one leg up and one leg down. That's also another option. Um, so feet apart, knees apart. And then all you're going to do is again, just gonna reach both the arms back towards the head like you just did. But now we're gonna lift the head away from the floor. So we're gonna breathe in. And then as you breathe out, arms will come forward. Nod your chin towards the chest as we lift the head away from the floor and reach the arms away from the body. Breathe in here at the top. And then you're going to breathe out as you rest your head back down and reach the arms back. And then repeating again. So you breathe in to prepare. 
Breathe out, take the arms forward, nod the chin towards the chest, lift the head away. Breathing in and then breathing out, rest the head and reach back. And again. And breathing out. Breathe in, slight pause at the top. Breathing out to come down. Two more times. And last one. Good. Resting the head and then bring your arms down by your side and then rest your feet one down. Then the other. Well done. Now we're going to go into your Pilates 100 exercise because I know it's been a good couple of weeks since we've last done this. Um, so yeah, I feel like we need to do it this week. Um, so when we're ready, again, you can either keep both your feet down on the floor or again, bring both your legs into tabletop position. Now you can even, depending on how you feel in your body, so do this into your bodies, uh, but if possible, you can, there is that option to take the legs up towards the ceiling. Now, again, you don't want to aggravate those hamstrings, you don't want to aggravate that lower back. So if that's pulling, um, do bend your knees or bring your feet down to the floor. So just choose the option that works best for you. Okay, and then from there, whichever position you chose, again, just going to take your arms back towards the head. Again, we're going to come into that curl up position. So we're going to take the arms forward, nod the chin towards the chest, find that curl up position at the top. And then from there, just going to pump the arms up and down and you're going to breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathing out, two, three, four, five, breathing in, two, four, five, breathing out, two, three, four, five. We're halfway there. Good, you've got one more to go. And after your last one, you're just going to hold that curl up position. So just uh, pause the arms and when you're ready, rest your hands down, rest your head, bend your knees and rest your feet down to the floor. Well done. Good, I definitely felt that today. Um, I definitely felt the difference. I'm not doing that for a while. Good. Okay, so now from here, we're going to grab hold of your band now. Uh, so grab your resistance band. And I'm just going to um, do a little bit of knee and hip mobility. Um, so just going to lift your right foot off the mat and then just going to place the band around that right foot. And then you're going to bend through the elbow, so bring it uh, so they connect to the floor. So you've got that resistance of the band. And just making sure your heel is in line with your knee, uh, just making sure it doesn't drop or go above. And then from there, just going to do a single leg push. You're just going to breathe in. And then as you breathe out, you're going to push the right leg away from you. So that right knee comes in line uh, with your left knee. And then pull the leg back in. And then repeat. So you're going to do that five times. Just going to breathe out, push. And breathe in, pull back. And then again, breathe out, push. Breathe in, pull back. And again, do it. I mean, if you don't have a resistance band, then you can always do this without. Good. And again, breathing out and in. And then once you've done five, just going to swap the legs over. So you're going to remove the band away from that right foot and now do the left side. So again, you're going to bend through the elbows, bring them down to the mat. And again, you're going to push the leg away from you and you're going to pull the leg back in. 
All right, now for the whole time, we're trying to maintain, again, your neutral spine, neutral pelvis. So as you're going back and forth with the knee and your hip, there should be no movement there. It should be, um, you want to keep stability there. Yep. Breathe out and in. Okay, and again, once you've done five, release the leg. Okay, so now, we're going to try this with both legs. Okay, so if possible, again, we're going to um, bring one leg away from the floor, place the band around the right foot, and then place your left foot into the band. So both legs come off the floor. So feet together, and then knees apart. And again, you can sit with single legs if you want to. Uh, keeping your elbows connected to the mat. And then again, just going to breathe in here, and then as you breathe out, you're just going to push both your legs away from you, squeeze the legs together as you go to that 45 degree angle. So we keep maintain that neutral position and then bend the knees, separate the knees, but keep the feet together. And then repeating again. So you're going to breathe out, push, squeeze the legs and then breathe in, pull back. And then repeat. So you breathe out, push, and breathe in, pull back. Good, and then two more. And last time. Good, and then just rest the feet down. So with the band, it does support you a bit more, um, takes the pressure away from the back a little bit. Um, so you can keep with the band if you want to, that's absolutely fine. But we're going to take the band away now if we can. So put the band to one side. Again, there is an alternative if you need it. So we're going to go back to your curl up. I'm going to put the two together, so your legs and the upper body. Um, so first option, so again, this is for any, um, if your lower back just seen a bit delicate today, or you, you do have um, a lower back issue. Um, just lift one leg into tabletop position and then take the arms back towards the head and then you're gonna come into that curl up position, lift the head and at the same time, you're gonna push the right leg away and you're gonna bend your knee, rest your head, take the arms back, place the foot down, switch the legs and then repeat and then just alternate. Okay, so that's one option. Second option, Bring both your legs off the floor, feet together, knees apart, and again, taking your arms back towards the head, coming up into a curl up position, and then pushing one leg forward, pull back, rest your head, reach the arms back, and then again, alternate the legs. Good, and then third option, if you want it, and then your lower back's being okay, is to now do both legs together. So we uh, want to take the arms forward, head comes up, squeeze the legs as you push both your legs away and again, just to that 45 degree angle, bend the knees, press the head, reach the arms back, and then repeating again. So again, we're gonna aim for five. So just choose any of those options that work best for you. And then once you've done about five, just rest down to the mat whenever you're ready. Good. And then just rest your arms down by your side, rest your feet, and then we're just going to hug your knees into your chest. So we're going to bring your knees in, grab hold of those legs, and just roll around on that lumbar spine. Just get a nice release there into the lower back, especially if it's being quite tight. So just get a nice gentle uh, release there. Just do a couple of circles one way, and then a couple of circles the other.
Good. Now, when you're ready, just bring your feet back down to the floor. Sit. Okay, so now from here, we're going to come up to sitting now. So either roll onto your side and then push yourself up, or hug your knees into your chest, place your hands on your shins, lift the head away, and then rock yourself up to sitting uh, when you're ready. Sit. Good. Okay, so we're going to grab hold of your band again uh, whenever you're ready. And then just going to uh, again bend your knees and you're going to flex your feet. So we're going to press your heels down into the floor. And then you're going to use your band and you're going to place it round the feet. Okay. I'm just going to sit nice and tall, nice and long in your spine. So really lifting out of that lower back. So create that space in your body. So just think about the posture and the way you're sitting and relax and soften those shoulders, okay? And then from here, we're gonna go into your Pilates um, half roll back, but we're gonna use the band uh, for support for today. Um, so just gonna breathe in, and then as you breathe out, you're gonna draw your belly button in, find that C curve in your spine, you're gonna nod your chin towards the chest, keeping those arms nice and long, Keep pressing the weight into your heels as you roll halfway towards the mat. Then you're going to breathe in and hold, and then breathe out, draw those abdominals in, and as the shoulders reach over your hips, lengthen through your spine. Okay, and then repeat again. So you're going to breathe in to prepare, and then breathing out, draw the belly button in, tuck your pelvis under as you roll back halfway. Breathing in and then breathing out to roll back up. Good, and then again. So rolling back. And then rolling up. Good, and rest at the top. Okay, so now I'm going to add some rotation to this now. So we're going to get into those internal obliques a little bit. So what we're going to do is, again, we're going to go into a half roll back position, but we're going to hold it at the top. So what we're going to do is, again, you're going to roll back halfway exactly the same as you just did. And again, keep weight in those heels. So keep pressing your heels down into the floor. So you draw the belly button in. And then from there, just going to bend your right elbow. You're going to slide that elbow up the body and you're going to rotate towards that right side. Then you're going to straighten that right arm. Then you're going to bend your left elbow. And again, you're going to rotate towards that side. And then come back to center. And then you're going to roll back up to sitting. Okay? Now we do it again on the, on the other side. So you're going to roll down. But starting with your left side this time. So as you come down halfway, Again, you're going to bend that left elbow. So again, working through the upper body slightly a little bit as you rotate, push the arm away. Then again on the other side, twist and rotate, back to center, and then rolling back up to the middle. Good, do this one more time on each side. Well done. And then rolling back up to sitting. That's it. Good. And then remove the band away. Good. So start stop, um, working through those obliques there a little bit. Okay. So now you're going to come onto your front now for me just to finish. Uh, so I'm just going to finish with some extension for your back. Uh, so when you're ready, you can come onto all the way onto your tummies. And just make sure your feet are hip distance apart to so let the heels roll in towards each other. And then just bring those arms down by your sides. So you've got the palms facing up towards the ceiling and bring your head down to the floor. If you feel uncomfortable here, uh, particularly in the shoulders for any reason, um, just bring your hands in front of the head instead, um, just to make it a bit more comfortable for um, those shoulders if you've got any grief there. Um, so what we're going to do is again, we're going to draw the belly button in. And you're going to breathe in to prepare. And then as you breathe out, you're going to brush that nose forward along the mat. And you're going to lift your head away as you roll up into your thoracic 
extension. Okay, uh, lifting the chest away from the floor, keeping the top parts of your ribs connected to the mat. Breathe in at the top and then breathe out as you roll back down bit by bit. Good, and then again, so really nice, particularly um, if you have been sat at a desk today and you're looking at a computer screen for a long time today. Um, this will really help to stretch through the upper body. Good, and then two more if you can. Yeah, coming up, find that extension and coming back down. And then one last time. And resting back down to the floor. Well done. And just to release the back after that, just pop your hands by your chest and then um, sit your tailbone back towards the heels. Stretch the arms away from the body, relax the head and neck, and just hold that stretch for me. So breathing in for the nose and out for the mouth. So really let the head go heavy. Good. And take one more breath here. And when you're ready, just come up to all fours and then we're going to come up to standing when you're ready. So just come to those hands and knees again. So hands underneath those shoulders, knees hip width apart, find that neutral position, head in line with your spine. Sit, draw the tummy in and then just going to tuck both your toes under. And again, going to come into your downward dog position. So you're going to lift your tailbone up to the ceiling, send those heels into the floor, relax the head and neck. And then when you're ready, just going to walk your hands back towards the feet. So you soften the knees if you need to. So you walk your hands back towards your feet. And again, let the head drop heavy, let the arms drop heavy, draw the tummy in. And when you're ready, just roll yourself up to standing. Good. And then just to finish off, that's it. Just bring your feet back onto the floor when you're ready. And so it makes your feet back to hip width apart again. And so think of your alignment, think of your posture and the way you're standing. And just hopefully feeling a bit freer in the body and just feel a little bit better overall in the body. And then just let the arms just hang naturally down by your side and just do a big inhale. And you're going to lift the arms out to the side all the way above the head. Lift your eye line at the top. And then a big exhale to bring your arms all the way back down to rest. Good, just going to do that two more times. Just going to breathe in, lift. And then breathe out, lower. Good, one last time, breathing in. And breathing out, bring your arms down to rest. And there you go. Thank you very much for joining me this evening. And hopefully you feel better for it. Thank you.